In this video, we're going to show you how to organize your drive, how to create folders, how to move stuff around, how to make a copy, how to delete stuff, how to duplicate stuff. We're also going to talk, uh, show you about your sharing privileges, and then also how to add files to your computer, which is pretty cool. Alright, so to start off, uh, I included this icon because I think it's such an important tool when you're using your drive. If you can remember, if anything, remember uh, to right click stuff because right click always has a bunch of important options that'll probably come in handy. Alright, so let's say I was trying to create a new Google Doc. I could go up to my button that says new and then go to Google Doc. I can also right click and then from there I can go down to new file and then click on Google Doc that way. So, um, I'm going to title this new Google document. I'll title it sample with the smiley face. And I'll click OK. And I'll type in just a little bit of text there. Notice that anything that you do in a, or anywhere on any Google, uh, whether it's docs or drives or form or whatever, it's saved automatically. So you never have to worry about saving it, which is cool. I'm going to close out of that tab. And notice <clears throat> that that document that I just created showed up here. So let's say I want to uh, take this sample document move it into this folder. What I'm going to do is right click, click on move to, and then from there I can select the folder that I want to move it into. So then I click move and it's done. I can always undo it by clicking this undo button or by pressing control Z, control Z for computer users, for PC users I mean, um, or command Z for Mac users. All right, um, another really easy way is to just simply drag and drop that file into your folder. You can also uh, drag multiple things into your folder. So you can select specific documents. Let's say I wanted to do this current event. I'm gonna hold, uh, if you're a PC, you're gonna hold Control and then click. And if you're a Mac user, hold Command and then click. So you can move all three of these documents into any folder that you want. And then you can move that folder into a different folder. And then of course to undo it, Command Z or Control Z. Which is nice. Okay, so let's say I wanted to move those documents outside of this Z folder. All I would have to do is double click on this. I'm going to highlight those. I'm going to right click, click move to, and then I'm just going to click move, which should take me to my drive. So I'm going to go back to my drive. Notice that here are my three documents, my current event, the red bird, and the sample. Okay, so I've shown you how to create folders and to move them around. That's step one. <clears throat> to make a copy, delete, or duplicate. All right, so I'm going to, let's say I wanted to, I don't want to copy that. I want a copy of this Corgi. I want to right click, go down to where it says make a copy. And it'll say, here we go, copy of untitled document. <clears throat> so let's say, okay, I'm done with it. I don't want it anymore. I want to delete this. Once again, you're going to right click the document and go down to remove and it puts it into your trash. There he is. Okay. To duplicate, this is a really cool feature. So let's say you want your document in more than one spot. Uh, um, the most recent thing I've used this for was I was uh, making a great sheet and I wanted it in my math CPM folder as well as my planning folder in a different area. What you do is you click, you click on your document, you select it, and then you press Shift Z. Shift Z and it says add to so you can add it to multiple places. Let's say I want to add it into my creative project. I want to add it there. I'm going to press Shift Z again. I want to put it into my conference info. I want to add it there. And let's say I also wanted to add it into one more. I'll say a project for good. So this same document will live in multiple places. And when you change it in one folder, it'll change it in the other folder, which is cool. 
But let's say, oh, like I actually don't want it in those three random spots. A couple ways you can uh, change it. You can right click and then you can go to view details. <clears throat> That's one way. You can also select the document and then go up to the little I button. It's the same thing, view details. And if you click on details, it shows you location. <clears throat> So you can take it out of the project for good, you can take it out of the conference, and take it out of your creative project. All really easily, which is perfect. And it won't allow you to take it out of your drive, which is perfect. So that's a really cool trick, that duplicate feature. <clears throat> okay, sharing privileges. You can adjust and change sharing privileges really easily by clicking on this. You can go up to this little person icon with the plus sign next to them. You click on share. And here you can share <clears throat> with people. So let's say I wanted to share it with my wife. So I'm going to type in Julianne. And I want her only to be able to comment. So I'll do that. And then I can click send. You can change it to edit or view. Another cool feature is let's say you wanted to add it to a group. Maybe you have like a class group or something. So inside my Gmail, I'm going to type in my Room 10 student group, and it's going to add in all those 27 contacts. Not that I would want that, but that's just one way that you could do that. I'm going to press Command Z. I'm going to cancel this. So that's a really easy way to share, to change your sharing privileges. Another really cool trick, if you wanted to share a whole folder with someone, let's say I wanted to share this uh, a project for good, with my uh, with my partner Terry, I would go ahead and type in her name, Terry Madison, and then you can select Edit or View, and then click Send, and she would have that whole folder. That folder would show up if Terry was here. It would show up in her Shared with Me folder. Okay, and then last but not least, adding files from your computer. This is a really cool feature. <clears throat> so let's say I have this uh, Microsoft Word folder. So inside of it I have some old newsletters from my first couple years of teaching. Uh, you can choose to upload the whole folder or you can upload individual documents. Uh, I'm, gonna, I, I'm gonna upload the whole folder just to show you what it looks like. So all you do is you click and you drag it into your folder. It says incoming and then you let go of your mouse. This little dialog box pops up down here. All of those items have been uploaded to your drive. Then I'm going to look for the title, Microsoft Word Newsletters. Here it is. And this is my folder that I've just created. Notice that these are saved in Microsoft Word, doc in, uh, Microsoft Word format. If you want to open them up with, Google, with, with a Google Doc, all you have to do is right click, select Open With, and then Google Drive. And what it does is it takes its formatting, it does its very best job to get it right, <clears throat> and it opens it up in its brand new Google Doc which is pretty cool. And then you also have both documents. So you have your Microsoft Word document, you also have your Google document right here. So notice it's the same thing. Pretty sweet. All right, hope that helps. Um, we've gone over creating files and documents. We've showed you how to copy, delete, and add your privileges. And we've also talked about adding files to your computer.